I'm going to show you one more example of how we can work with properties. So in this example, I've got a value in cell A1. And what we want to do is we want to add the cell that's in A1 to a value X that's input by the user in an input box. So X will be the value input by the user. Y is going to be equal to the value in cell A1. In this case, that's 2. Then we're going to calculate Z, which is just the sum of those two. And then we're going to ask the user for a range. So for example, a cell like B3, or it can also be a multiple cell range like B3 to C7. And in that range, we're going to place Z. So let's go through this. Let me show you how this works. So we press F8. We get a value X from the user. I'll say seven. Then we get Y from range A1. So that's equal to two. Bring up the locals window here so we can see. Then we ask the user for the range. Please enter the cell to place the result in. I'll just say uh, B3. So it accepts that as a range, which is a, you have to dim it as a string. And now we place into that range, we place the sum of X and Y, which is Z. And that goes into cell B3. We can also do this on multiple cells in a range. So let's do four. And then we add those two. Four plus two is six. We're going to ask the user for a range. So I'll say in this case A4 to C7. And it's going to then place into that range the sum of X and Y, which is Z. So this is just another example uh, of how you can work with different ranges, how you can obtain input from the user, and how you can export it back to the spreadsheet.